Hey everybody, and welcome to part two of the Fun Fortress part playthrough. Now, apologies for the delay in programming. Um, been a busy few weeks where I took a few small uh, weekend holidays, um, so RCT has taken a bit of a back seat. Um, but with the start of winter coming up, uh, I should be able to spend uh, much more time making videos and playing the game. Um, so, now after my last video, Marcel Voss was kind enough to give me a shout out on his channel. And I've had quite a few new subscribers since then, so thanks very much to those people that have joined, and welcome to the channel. Now, although I do have a few hints and tips style videos, which was the one of which um, Marcel pointed to the other day, I mostly do park or scenario playthroughs, and I usually play these in RCT Deluxe, which is the first RCT. Now, occasionally I do make videos using OpenRCT2, like in the uh, Fix My Coastal Layout series, and also in uh, various DKMP building competitions. But yeah, mostly an RCT1 guy, um, mostly due to the nostalgia, I guess. Um, but I also get a kick out of trying to make the most out of the limited scenery pieces and ride selections compared to that in RCT2, especially with scenario play. I also usually try and make the parks I do um, as good looking and as realistic as I can. Uh, whilst trying to complete the scenario objective. Anyway, that's probably enough about the channel, and on to the next part of the park playthrough here. So here we're moving on to the uh, second year of the Fun Fortress scenario. Uh, in the first episode, we uh, spent um, quite a bit of time building coasters and uh, getting uh, kind of the first rides up and running. Uh, we started off with a steel mini or a junior coaster, um, put in a couple of basic flat rides, um, a side friction coaster kind of on the side and as well as a uh, dueling or a, yeah dueling steeplechase which is kind of meant to give a bit of a jousting effect which I thought came out pretty nicely. I had some really great name suggestions for the side friction coaster uh, one of which was Leap the Wood Chips from uh, Heartline Coaster which I absolutely love as it's a derivative of the name of the oldest operating coaster in the world Leap the Dips um, so combined with the kind of woodland or forest theme I'm going for, uh, this was just the perfect name, so uh, thanks very much for that suggestion. Uh, I also had another suggestion uh, which was Bandit from Mark B, which, I'm, uh, which I actually ended up using for another ride, uh, which I'll chat about later. So the first thing I got stuck into in year two of the scenario was the log flume, which was uh, a little while ago in the video now. Um, it's a pretty standard layout. Nothing too exciting, just a meandering sort of design which I've been using quite a few times of late. So just like a, kind of a biggish initial hill, just combination of S-bends and uh, turnarounds and a kind of a series of small drops followed by a really big uh, finale. Well, it's not that um, it's not that huge of a drop in this case, but um, kind of follow, following that theme and just a short climb up back into the station. Then something I touched on earlier was a uh, wooden wild mouse, which is, uh, I guess since it's using the minecarts, would be a wooden wild mine ride, I suppose. Um, so yeah, I just kind of uh, wanted to put something on that hill. Now it's a rather tame ride overall. I mean, the uh, the lift hill doesn't go up there very high. It's like, I don't know, three three height units up. And it's, uh, it really is it's quite slow overall, but it's meant to be kind of more of a I don't know, a family style ride, which um, is a general theme I'm going for in the park anyway. Um, the stats are pretty uh, low, like I think it's um, it barely reaches three in the excitement intensity intensity and nausea, so I'm probably getting a stat penalty or two there, but yeah, as I said before, it's meant to be kind of a family style ride anyway, so I wasn't too bothered. And I like the way it looks, um, kind of like the uh, tunnels around the place, and uh, yeah, it gave it a bit of a logging theme. Um, and yeah, I called it, called it Bandit uh, as well, uh, which was uh, yeah based on that suggestion I received. I guess with the loose concept that it's, uh, you know, based on these uh, criminals that are stealing logs or something. Uh, since the Wild Mouse Coaster is one of those ones w which uh, loses speed really quickly because of the short trains, it was actually kind of a fun challenge um, building, uh, you know, just about as long a layout as, as probably possible. Um, just uh, given the you know the small small lift hill, so yeah, I actually kind of uh, found it fun um, experimenting a little bit with that. I then decided on kind of a medium-sized car ride, um, just to get a extra kind of ride in the area and something with a bit more variety, a bit of a gentle ride, I guess. 
and um, yeah, I I don't usually go for this sort of ride, but um, I don't know, I was just kind of in the mood for it, and um, yeah, I think uh, I think it turned out pretty nicely. Uh, usually the car rides I build are pretty small and compact, but um, this one has plenty of interaction with the path and the surrounding rides. I think it uh, goes under the side friction coaster, then it um, crosses under the log flume multiple times, then um, crosses the path, and it's uh, yeah, the station platform is pretty well tied up within the the wooden wild mine ride. So yeah, plenty of interaction there, which was uh, kind of fun to make. Uh, the extra ride here was also good for the soft guest cap, which I, I really do have to keep in mind because this uh, objective is 1300 guests by the end of October year three. So I really do need to try and get as many rides into the park as possible. Just did some uh, basic decorations around those uh, new rides as well, uh, mostly along the same sort of uh, theme or style as uh, what I'd previously done in the park. So just, you know, some nice little clusters of trees and plenty of ground shrubbery. I might have gone a, gone a little bit overboard with the trees in some places, so I did actually remove um, a few just in the end because I think they, I felt like they were covering up a bit too much of the rides, which I wasn't a huge fan of, so I was uh, I was happy to just change that up a little bit. Now after I was done with uh, that kind of area, um, which I think looked pretty good, um, I moved on to inside the, I guess the fortress, which I had been pretty excited about for a while actually. Uh, so uh, the main idea I'm kind of going for um, within the walls of the, the fortress here is um, kind of a, I don't know, a bit of a medieval kind of market, I suppose. Um, so there's just going to be basically a lot of uh, gentle rides, but yeah, there's basically going to be lots of different shops and stalls um, just to you know, it's, the idea is here that it would be a, a place where, you, you know, you could uh, go inside and soak up a bit of atmosphere. Uh, the circus show is meant to kind of give the, you know, the, the market or carnival sort of style that I'm going for. I actually started off the area here with a, a bit of a cycle railway, um, which actually I've still only called Cycle Railway 1. So um, if anyone has a good name suggestion for that, I am open to suggestions. I really can't think of anything for that. But yeah, since I was only planning on really putting flat rides in here, I think uh, the cycle railway gives a bit of movement to the area and uh, a bit of um, a bit of flow as well, I suppose. And I think uh, it would be a fun sort of ride to kind of uh, just use to explore the area rather than just walking around. On top of the circus show and the cycle railway, also added in the spiral slide, uh, which I called Overwatch, and also just a maze kind of tucked away in the corner. Um, I uh, sometimes uh, forget about how uh, useful mazes can be um, with these awkward little spaces because you can really make them into any shape you want really. I didn't spend too much time thinking about the actual layout of the maze so I, uh, I'm not sure if guests are getting stuck in there. I think I saw a few um, exit over the course of the year so that was uh, so it must be at least achievable which is a good thing. Uh, once I had unlocked a few more of the shops and stalls I uh, put a few of those in. I think the hat stall in particular has a kind of nice sort of old school design to it so I think it fits in well with the area and I just put a few of those in. I would really like to unlock the medieval uh, theming um, pack but I'm not sure if I get that in this scenario so uh, I'm basically just going to be using the mine theming set and just putting the various barrels and piles of wood kind of stacked around the area. I think that's probably the most appropriate sort of theming to go for here. Although I did try my hand at adding a few of those kind of jungle style fences which are basically just wooden log fences and uh, I think they fit in surprisingly well to the area. Um, I even, I think I even went back and added some to the uh, area that I uh, kind of started with in the episode as well. Uh, just kind of scattered them, scattered them around the place and yeah I think they turned out pretty nicely. I'll probably add a few more shops and stalls into the uh, the fortress itself uh, just to kind of fill out the uh, a few awkward little gaps but um, I don't think I'll be putting any more rides in there. There's probably not enough space uh, for that. Uh, so yeah, I'll uh, probably leave that as it is. Uh, the last kind of project uh, for the episode here is um, basically a little uh, waterway out the front um, of the, I want to say the main entrance of the castle, I guess. I thought it would be a fun idea to try and do um, some kind of drawbridge. Um, it doesn't look super convincing. Um, I ended up using just the mini suspended uh, rail coaster just kind of as the the arms and the I guess the idea is that you could uh, you could pretend that you could lift that uh, bridge up and down as required. I may try another coaster type like maybe the steeplechase rather than the um, suspended single rail coaster. 
just to see how it looks. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not too unhappy with how that uh, looks. At the moment, my kind of uh, grand plan here is to connect up the waterway just at the at the entrance of the castle with the one down uh, kind of at the lower elevations, kind of at the base of the log flume. Um, yeah, it might make a little waterfall or something. Um, yeah, try and make it look nice, but we'll see how that goes. Anyway, I think that's just about all I've got time for. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, apologies again for the little delay in getting this video out. Uh, it shouldn't be as long until the next one. Um, but until then, uh, thank you all very much for watching, and we'll see you next time. All right, cheers. Bye.